Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Using a CAD program to design something is a lot of fun. I can do a lot of really cool things with it. But every now and again, I make something in CAD and now I have to make it in real life. And what I designed was, this is a tree. This is a weeping willow tree. And the branches of the tree, I got to make those elbows. So this is just basically the start of it. This is the main trunk of the tree down here. And this is one of the branches that's starting to come up. And I got to get that elbow up there and kind of point it back down. And I put the question out to the guys over on the weld.com forum. And one of the guys over there said, ooh, you got to check out this little program for your computer. And this is a cone layout program. It's so darn easy. Here's where you put in all your parameters over in here. Take it from two inches, let's make it uh, three inches. Boy, you see everything change immediately. What kind of angle you want on it? Let's take it from 45 degrees and let's make it 10. You know, the other diameter on the bottom of your piece. It's at 2.8 right now, let's make it five. It is so quick and it is so darn easy to use. The last little parameter that you can put in, well, they call it length, but what they're really talking about is height. So 2.8, let's make it seven. And if you want to change like that angle, take it from this attitude, put it in that attitude, you just come back to your angle field and take out a minus, make it a positive, and there's your finished shape. The nice thing with a cutout shape is you can print it out on your printer, you can tile it, you know, you can make a full-size pattern out of it if it's, if it's bigger than a regular sheet of paper, or it will also put out a DXF file, and that's what I need to be able to take to my plasma table and cut it out over there. And this is what you get. Once you cut it out on the, on the CNC table over there, clean it all up, roll it out, weld your ends together to make a solid cone out of it. Now you can start stacking it up. So now you can see where I'm heading here. It's going to start bending over. It's going to come around and end right about here. It's getting smaller as I go from uh, 6.875 uh, 6 uh, 6 which is 6 and 7 eighths and going to drop down about a you know, about a half an inch I think. You know, maybe a quarter of an inch from one section to the next bring it around, end it right about in here, and then I'll roll another tapered tube like I did on this side and from here and bring it down. And then I can add my four branches to the bottom of it so I can put my flowers on it. So if you ever want to play with cones, that cone layout program, that is a great, great little addition to have on your computer. So thanks to PT Sideshow over on weld.com. He's the one who pointed me towards this cone layout program. Good job, buddy. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate you all watching. I want you to reach up there and hit that notification bell for me. And I'll see you next time. And if you want to change the angle from being in that attitude to this attitude, it just takes a little minus symbol and everything goes away. Oh, goody. <laughs>